Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another unboxing and review. After some Star Wars videos, we're back with Marvel. This time, it's the Amazing Spider-Man figure. If you remember when Hot Toys announced their Spider-Man No Way Home figures, this one was clearly labeled as an Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure. And there's a reason for that. Hot Toys and all the other toy companies weren't able to secure the rights for Andrew Garfield's likeness in No Way Home. So instead of giving us an Amazing Spider-Man figure from No Way Home with no Andrew Garfield head sculpt, Hot Toys decided to revisit their old Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure, so they could update it and we could still get an Andrew Garfield head sculpt, even though that's not how it looked in No Way Home. Because, I mean, when you get an Amazing Spider-Man figure, you do need an Andrew Garfield head sculpt. So, as usual, first, let's talk about the box. This is a nice box design. In the middle, you have a promotional picture of your character. Spider-Man is shooting a web that you can see continuing on the side. And the one he's holding there also continues up until the back. So that's real nice. Uh, since Electro was the villain of the second film, you have some blue electricity at the back and on the side as well. Uh, at the top you have the name of the movie and at the bottom the name of the character. On each side you have his Spider-Man logo and at the back the usual product information. When you remove the first part of the box, you can see the figure there. And at the back, a nice promotional picture of the figure with the Spider-Man logo. It's really cool. So now, let's open this and talk about the accessories. In terms of accessories, you get the usual for Spider-Man figure, so that's good. The display base is a simple one with the symbol of the character and the name of the movie. Though, if you want a better display base, you can get the Lizard display base that is from Spider-Man No Way Home. It is sold separately, because, well, that is a base from No Way Home and not The Amazing Spider-Man 2. The stand is a dynamic one, so I'll drop a link to my video on how to avoid damaging your figures with dynamic stands in the description down below. Then he has 13 hands. That's a lot. You have plenty of choices for poses. He has two fist hands. Two gesture hands. Two hands to hold the web effects. Two open hands. Two pointing figure hands to recreate the meme scene. Two web shooting hands. You can actually attach a web shooter effect. And from there you can attach the web effect as usual for Spider-Man figures. And finally, you have what I call the selfie hand. He also has the usual web effect. There are six of them, plus one you can attach to the longer effects. That's some good choices for poses. Finally, he has his Spider-Man mask for when you display him with the head sculpt. So now, let's take a look at the figure. The fact that this is an Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure and not a No Way Home figure doesn't make any difference for the suit itself. It's basically the same, though, as with all Spider-Man figures, you get the same problem. It's made of a particular type of fabric, which means that if you leave it in the same action pose for a long period of time, it will be damaged over time. What I recommend is either to leave it in a neutral pose or changing the pose often. 
Nevertheless, this is a beautiful Spider-Man suit and Hot Toys has done a great job recreating its different textures. I really like what they did here. The feet are entirely covered of fabric, so you do have feet articulation. They should have made the sleeve slightly longer because you see a bit of the wrist joint. However, my main problem here is that the hand is not covered in fabric, so you do see the difference between the rest of the suit and the hand. That's a bit annoying. I love how the web effect has been applied on the red suit, same for the symbol. It looks really beautiful. The head and the neck are seamless. It's entirely covered in fabric, so it really looks accurate, unlike the previous Spider-Man figures with Tom Holland. It's a big improvement. Plus, the fabric uses the same tone as the rest of the suit. It's a perfect match. The stitching of a mask is so much better. What they did with this figure is the way to go for future Spider-Man figures. However, this means that the head is limited in terms of articulation. I'm fine with it because it looks better, but I can understand why some people may be complaining about that. Nevertheless, you can still move the head quite well. He can slightly look up, can look down, and he can look on each side. As for the rest of the figure, you can move the arms like this, like this, this way, like this, like this. You can also move the hands, you can move the legs, like this, like this, like this. And you can move the feet. Like the original version of this figure, the unmasked head sculpt comes with a neck where you can see his skin, which is how it looks in the films. It's something that was missing on the Tom Holland figures. I love that they included it again with this new version of the Amazing Spider-Man. As this is an updated version of the original release, the head sculpt isn't the best. It's good, alright, but it's not exactly that. Though you can definitely recognize a younger Andrew Garfield there. Nevertheless, the paint job is up to Hot Toys' current quality. So overall, it's not a bad head sculpt, but it's not exceptional either. It's just good. There is a problem with the neck and the head. They are separated, but the way they are attached together limit how you can move the head. This means he will always look slightly down. He can look on each side view. So now let's see some poses.
This is a good update on the previous figure of the Amazing Spider-Man. Though the Edsgold isn't bad, it's not great either. It's simply good. Nevertheless, if you want an Andrew Garfield Spider-Man figure, it's definitely worth picking up. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!